Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all. You see by the preview picture and the title, we're going to do some old school. We're doing them in the old school way, too, y'all. We're doing some old school uh, smothered pork steaks. I got some pork, not pork chop, but pork steaks. I got some pork steaks here I got from the butcher a couple of days ago, and I've cut them in half. And this is my favorite part of pork, y'all. See all that good fat on there? Y'all don't know, y'all don't understand that. Y'all probably don't understand that, but that's good eating right here. I'd rather have a pork steak than a pork chop any day of the week. So I cut them in half. I wash them, cut them in half, and then I, uh, now, what we're going to do now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in this bowl here, and I'm going to get them all seasoned up here, y'all. I'm going to season them all up here. Put them in this bowl here. They kind of walk it off, and I washed them really, really good. Pork, you really gotta. I'm really, really keen on washing it really good. Of all, all proteins, pork scares me the most. More than chicken, more than beef, more than fish, anything, because it will, it will spoil on you quick, and it's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous, y'all. So anyway, let's get started here. Let me put some, you know, I'm going to put my old school shake on here. Y'all know I use the sweet or spice here. I'll put that on there, and then we're going to just mix it all up by hand here. Put that on there. Y'all know I use my kosher salt and white pepper. Y'all know already I don't use a lot of, probably look like a lot, y'all, but I could mix it up. I don't use a lot of seasoning. Y'all already know that. You've been following me enough. And I use my Cavendish. I love my Cavendish. I've been using that since I was 15 years old, 16 years old, y'all. That's how long I've been using it. Okay. Okay, now. I'm going to use the best utensil God gave me. My hands here. Mix this all up in here good. Get all mixed up in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands off here. But yeah, y'all, uh, pork steaks is absolutely the best part of the pig for me compared to pork chops. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna clean up here a little. I'm gonna be right back. We're gonna fry these off, sear them off, and we'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to toss this in the, uh, just some all-purpose flour, y'all. Sear it off on both sides. This over here, right here. And my little, move y'all over here. Move y'all over here so y'all can see my instant, in the instant pot. I almost say instant pot. Y'all know I love my instant pot. We're going to do this in the old school way, in the oven, y'all. No instant pot on this one. We're going old school country today. we put it in the oven. All right. Got my uh, fire heating up there. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to sear this off. Get them all seared off on both sides. Once we get them all seared off both sides, we're going to come back. And uh, put the onions in there. Get the onions caramelized off. Put a little flour in there. And we're going to make this gravy. Put it in the oven two hours. We got some falling off the bone. Some other pork chop. Give me some pork chop. Pork steak. Give me some white rice. And it's on. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. I am back. Okay. Let me show y'all what I got here. All the pork steaks are seared off. See how pretty those are? That's what you want. Well, nice golden brown pork steaks. Now, move this to the side. Now we're going to make some gravy here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get these yum yum, as Emma Lagasse would say. Get those yum yum at the bottom of this pot. And I want to saute these onions up. And that'll help get the, all that residue in the bottom. That's all good flavor off the bottom of this pot here. It's going to take about 10 minutes to do. I want to caramelize them really, really good. Get them caramelized really, really good. So this is the flavor. 
Now, now I'm gonna step off here and I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna add some flour to this. Dirty flour lady, get ready. Oh Lord, I can hear it now. Honey, he, he back again with that dirty flour, honey. Well, yeah, come on, hurry up, come in here and look. He putting that dirty flour in here in his pork chops. Honey. So I'll be back, y'all, with my dirty flour, and we're going to put this thing together. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. Here we go here with our, uh, with our dirty flour, y'all. Told you, dirty flour later. I already done made her here. We're going to put that same flour. And we braided our pork chops in. Y'all don't know the dirty flour joke. Y'all new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Just gonna make a nice gravy right here. Just gonna make a nice gravy. Now, we're gonna pour our beef stock in here, y'all. Got some beef stock. You can use chicken stock. But I'm gonna use beef. There's no such thing as pork stock. So I'm gonna use beef because it has a, a darker color. We're gonna make a dark gravy here. Okay. Like I say, you can use, like I say, you can use pork stock if you want to. I mean, uh, they don't make pork stock. Uh, chicken stock you want to. I like the beef uh, flavor this gives it. The, the color gives it. Okay, hold on y'all. We're gonna put some Worcestershire sauce in here. A little Worcestershire sauce, AKA American soy sauce. All righty, y'all, look at that. Look at that nice, and this is gonna be nice and pretty gravy. You can see how dark great gravy is. Now, we don't have to add nothing else to this, y'all, because you know the, uh, the pork chops, I keep saying pork chop, pork, uh, Steaks has flour on it too, and that's gonna help thicken this up even as well. Okay, we're gonna season our gravy up here. All I'm gonna do is put a little salt and pepper in it. Taste it, make sure it's good. Get it all mixed up in there, and then we're gonna give it a taste here. Oh yeah, y'all. A little bit more water in here, y'all. I don't want to put too much. You know what's going to happen. Put too much water. Then want to add my pork chops. Let me make sure it's good and seasoned here, y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. We're going to turn this off. All we're gonna do is put our pork in here. Where's it all gonna fit in here, y'all? That's gonna be the question, huh? Chef Jeffrey can make it all fit in here. Might be tough to do, y'all. Might be tough to do here. Feeling like it's got a little, got a lot of room in there, y'all. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, y'all. <clears throat> look at that, y'all. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, but that ain't for real. Put all that good flavor in there. Now, we're gonna cover this up. I'm gonna put it in the oven, 350 degrees for two hours. I ain't gonna open the oven. One thing good about these uh these uh Dutch ovens, you ain't gotta worry about it burning up, scorching, none of that. Because it ain't good up equipment, y'all. So anyway, y'all, 350 degrees. I'm gonna make me a pot of white rice here later in about an hour. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna make me a pot of white white rice. We're gonna have some white rice, gravy, and pork chops, y'all. We're gonna get no better than that. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. 
All right, y'all, we are back two hours later here. So we're going to open this pot up. We're going to show y'all what I got here. Look at this, dog. Look at this goodness. Like I say, big old pot of goodness here. Look at that. Look at this, y'all. And I'm going to try to pick one of these up. I'm going to show you how tender this is, y'all. Show you how tender this pork is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, how tender that is, y'all. This is just so tender. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Kind of falling apart. That's what you want. That's what you want, y'all. Nice, thick gravy. See that good gravy it made? That's what I tell y'all. Don't buy the gravy. You can make the gravy. See how quick I made that gravy in there? Natural brown gravy. So, anyway, step off. I'm going to make a famous YouTube thumbnail, and I'm going to come back here, and we're going to have a plate. I got me some uh, corn. I got me some rice, and I'm going to make me a plate here, and it's going to be on in here, y'all. This is a good thing for Sunday dinner right here, y'all. Don't get no better than this. Some smothered pork steaks with some white rice, gravy, some corn, some peas, or whatever. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I got to grab my hot sauce here, y'all. So we're gonna give y'all closer, closer. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Give y'all a closer look at this. I got my rice on there, y'all. The pork, of course. I got me corn. That's my favorite vegetable. I ain't gonna use a knife, y'all. I'm just gonna cut this with a fork. See that? I'm just cut it with a fork, y'all. See how tender that is? I don't need no knife, y'all. Look at that. Let me put me some hot sauce. Hold on. I didn't get my hot sauce on there. Put me a hot sauce on there. You know, I got to have that. All right, y'all. Here it goes. You can see how hot it is. See how hot that it still is. And here it goes anyway. Mmm. 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 Tell y'all. Right, this is some soul food here, y'all. Mother. Pork steak. I'm telling you, don't need no knife. Hot cut, just cut that with a fork. Yeah, no knife needed. Cut it with a fork, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my God! It put you to sleep here, y'all. It's on a Sunday afternoon. Hmm. Let me put you to sleep. Make it go better than this. Mm. Two hours in the oven. Get you one of these good um, Dutch ovens. You can do it in Instant Pot too. But sometimes you just got to go old school and you put it in Dutch oven. And make sure you got a thick bottom hot when you do that. Onions, salt and pepper. Y'all see I don't do a lot of seasoning on my food. Salt and pepper. I use my shake. Cavendish. That's it. Very simple. Very easy dish. One more bite and we're going to close this video out, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm. no better than that. So, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.